Grace Jones, born Grace Beverly Jones on May 19, 1948, in Spanish Town, Jamaica, is a multifaceted artist known for her groundbreaking contributions to music, fashion, and film. Growing up in Jamaica, Jones was raised in a strict religious household by her parents, Marjorie and Robert Jones. At the age of 13, she and her siblings moved to Syracuse, New York to join their parents, who had already migrated to the United States. Jones's upbringing was marked by her exposure to various cultural influences, including the vibrant music scene in Jamaica and the dynamic urban environment of New York. These experiences would later shape her distinctive artistic identity. In New York City, Jones pursued a career in modeling, quickly gaining attention for her striking androgynous appearance, which channeled traditional standards of beauty. Her bold, avant-garde style caught the eye of prominent fashion designers, leading to high-profile modeling assignments and appearances in fashion magazines. In the 1970s, Grace Jones transitioned from modeling to music, unleashing her singular artistic vision upon the music industry. With her debut album, Portfolio, released in 1977, Jones embraced the disco era with electrifying performances and chart-topping hits. However, it was her collaboration with legendary producer Tom Moulton on the 1978 album Fame that marked a turning point in her career. The album's success solidified Jones' reputation as a dynamic performer and set the stage for her meteoric rise to stardom. Throughout the 1980s, Grace Jones continued to push musical boundaries, blending elements of disco, reggae, new wave, and post-punk to create a sound uniquely her own. Her albums, Warm Leatherette, 1980, and Night Clubbing, 1981, catapulted her to international fame spawning iconic singles such as Pull Up to the Bumper and Slave to the Rhythm, Jones's electrifying stage presence and provocative persona captivated audiences worldwide, earning her legions of devoted fans and critical acclaim. In addition to her musical endeavors, Grace Jones made a significant impact in the world of film, starring in a series of iconic movies that showcased her mesmerizing charisma and larger-than-life presence. Her roles in films such as Conan the Destroyer, 1984, and A View to Kill, 1985, solidified her status as a cultural icon and further expanded her global influence. Grace Jones partners through the years. Grace's first high-profile relationship was with the controversial French photographer Jean-Paul Orze, who became her muse as a model in the late 1970s. He told WWD, in 1977 or 78, I met Grace and it was a period of decadence. People were still doing lots of drugs and I had been working so hard for so long and she made me part of her lifestyle. Made me go out dancing at Studio 54. She became an obsession and we did everything together. The pair eventually had a son, Paulo, and Grace has a granddaughter because of Paulo. Gorde even admitted that the child was completely unexpected further stating to WWD, we both had our moments of weakness, and when she announced she was pregnant, I had no intention of staying with her. I wasn't happy with it, but she had the baby and then I became very soft and tender. Then, when Grace landed the role of Mayday in 1985, James Bond film, A View to Kill, she also began dating her former bodyguard, Dolph Lundgren, for four years she even got the now-famous Swedish actor a role in the film as a KGB officer. You may also recognize Lundgren from the movie Rocky IV as Stallone's boxing nemesis. The pair was the celebrity couple from the James Bond film, with matching energy. However, it did not take long before things started to dwindle. Before they separated, Jones pulled a gun on her then-boyfriend in an attempt to stop a kidnap attack. Jones was linked to a string of controversial situations. She dated a music producer, Chris Stanley, who she claims died in Jamaica. These two were a dynamic duo, with the actress being very supportive during their relationship. They topped the headlines after Stanley's arrest and release, but his beloved partner defended him, explaining that they were dragged out after an encounter with an American airline. 
Jones claimed their pilot mate, Rachel Thomas, and they experienced a flight delay. Right after the pair split, Jones became romantically involved with Danish actor Seven Al Thorsen. The pair were in an open relationship in 1990 and even started seeing each other again in 2007. The 80s pop icon has a son, Paulo, from her relationship with longtime collaborator Jean-Paul Gaud. Paulo is all grown up now and looks ravishingly handsome, but did not take his mother's looks. Meet Paulo Gaud, the 42-year-old son of Grace Jones, who is also a model and a music artist like his famous mother. Gaud's father is Jones' ex-husband, celebrity photographer Jean-Paul Gaud. Gaud famously shot Kim Kardashian's naked photo spread in Paper Magazine. Grace Jones touched on this in her book, I'll Never Write My Memoirs, writing, I'll ask him, Jean-Paul Gaud, while he was giving her, Kim Kardashian, a basic commercial product, his ideas. This seemed to contradict his spirit of integrity, which he has protected for so long. Why was he repeating himself? Just to give her a little flair of publicity quickly absorbed by the next puff of self-promotion. Grace said, Gods responded, well, he replied, I got the feeling that if I didn't do that photograph, she would have simply copied the idea anyway. I might as well copy myself. His ideas are so powerful that repeating them decades later still causes a hell of a fuss, however temporary. He might have done it to wind me up a little as well, which he did. Jones also describes in her memoir, having a baby shower when she was pregnant with her only son, which was held at the Manhattan nightclub garage. In an expert published in Harper's Bazaar, she wrote, Debbie Harry of Blondie and Andy Warhol threw it for me. That's showing you normal. She wrote, the papers called it the first disco baby shower, and Paulo was being talked about as the first disco baby. As reported by Best of Life, Paulo grew up mostly in New York City and Paris, speaking both French and English. He often shares photos from shoots on his Instagram, Grace Jones stays slaying us at 75. The 5 foot 10, statuesque physique, the bone structure, the trend-setting hair, the voice that gave us classics like Pull Up to My Bumper and I'm Not Perfect, Jamaican singer, actress and model Grace Jones, a certifiable icon who is still making jaws drop in her 70s with her fit body and gorgeous skin. What's your secret? I do a little exercise, but I don't do excessive bodybuilding like when I train twice a day for a year with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dolph Lundgren. Jones told the Evening Standard back in 2010. Also, what keeps her looking young is her attitude. Jones has a way of keeping her stress levels low. I feel very good about my career because I've never had to compromise, says Jones. The trouble with so many people is that they want to be part of the gang. They want to feel safe and fit in. You get married because society says you should do this or that. But look at society. It's always changing its mind about what is right to do. Jones was born in Spanish Town, Jamaica, into a family of ministers and lived with pious grandparents before joining her parents in NYC in her teenage years. In an interview with The Guardian, she says she lacked a comfortable childhood and she and her siblings were victims of their physical and psychological abuse. Throughout her career, Jones was arguably celebrated in the media as much as her commentators were confused by her. These days, Jones, now 75, is known for her impressive hula hooping technique. During a 2012 performance at the Diamond Jubilee concert at Buckingham Palace, she hooped the entirety of Slave to the Rhythm and didn't miss a bit. Jones had some memorable moments in her life, unlike any other supermodel. Like when Grace Jones gave birth to her only child and then did push-ups, literally straight after giving birth. I'm an athlete, she told the Guardian's Barbara Ellen. I didn't want to be. The stereotype of when a woman has a child and it's an excuse to get out of shape. She still smash out a casual 50 push-ups without blinking an eye at 75 too. If that's not enough, what about singing and hooping at the same time? When she was 70, Grace did a performance where she was singing 
while hula hooping non-stop for nearly five minutes. Seriously. Grace Jones' net worth is projected to be around $12 million in 2024. Like many celebrities, Jones has faced financial challenges, including tax issues and lawsuits, which have impacted her net worth. Despite these challenges, Jones' net worth has steadily grown over the years thanks to her diverse career and investments. Jones has made a significant investment in real estate over the years, owning properties in the United States and Jamaica. These investments have played a role in increasing her net worth. Living in a $5 million mansion is a testament to opulence and luxury, offering an unparalleled lifestyle of grandeur and sophistication. Situated in exclusive neighborhoods or scenic locales, these magnificent estates boast sprawling grounds, lavish amenities, and exquisite architectural design. From expansive living spaces adorned with elegant finishings to state-of-the-art entertainment areas and leisure facilities, every aspect of her life in a $5 million mansion exudes prestige and comfort. Whether relaxing in the meticulously landscaped gardens, unwinding by the sparkling pool, or entertaining guests in the spacious dining and living areas, residents of such mansions enjoy a life of privilege and indulgence. With breathtaking views, unparalleled privacy, and access to top-notch amenities, living in a $5 billion mansion represents the epitome of luxury living, providing a sanctuary of elegance and sophistication for those who can't afford it. My dear viewers, the story continues as we take you through her car collection. Now, Grace Jones boasts an impressive car collection of luxury cars that exemplify her refined taste and style. On one standout vehicle among her collection is this Tesla Model S, a sleek and innovative electric car known for its cutting-edge technology and environmental friendliness. With a price tag of $775,000, the Tesla Model S offers exceptional performance and a luxurious driving experience that appeals to discerning car enthusiasts. Another jewel in Grace Jones's car collection is the 2022 Mercedes-Benz S-Class. The pinnacle of automotive excellence is renowned for its opulent interior, advanced features, and refined driving dynamics. Valued at approximately $120,000, where the Mercedes S Ben class represents the epitome of luxury and sophistication, making it a coveted choice among celebrities and unfluent individuals seeking unparalleled comfort and prestige on the road. Adding to her impressive lineup is the Lincoln Navigator, a premium SUV renowned for its spacious cabin, powerful engine, and luxurious amenities. Priced at $82,000, the Lincoln Navigator offers a blend of elegance and versatility, making it an ideal choice for those who prioritize comfort and performance in their daily travels. In addition, Grace owns the BMW 530i, a symbol of German engineering, excellence, and driving pleasure. With a price tag of $57,000, the BMW 530i combines dynamic performance with a refined luxury offering a thrilling driving experience and sophisticated styling that reflects Grace Jones' discerning taste and appreciation for fine automobiles. Rounding out her collection is the Cadillac Escalade, a premium SUV synonymous with luxury, comfort, and prestige. At a price tag of $882,000, the Cadillac Escalade excuses sophistication and refinement, featuring a spacious interior and advanced technology powerful performance capabilities that cater to the needs of discerning drivers seeking the ultimate in automotive luxury and comfort. Among these cars, which one do you like the most? Please comment below.